Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I am really looking forward to this one because we're going to be checking out a new update that just hit the game. There has been several things added with this update. Now in this video, I will be touching lightly on the topics, not on the overall experience because I'm going to be doing a live stream in regards to that. This video is about showing you guys the overview. Also, you might notice that I have the Legion drinking pet right here. I actually have both of the pets, although I don't have any of the travel forms as of yet. And so these things here are obtained by the Legion stuff. So if you are a guardian, make sure you go and talk. I have a video all about how to get these for free. If you are a guardian, it's a daily. You got to grab in the shop, uh, sorry, in the uh, tower. And then of course you can purchase these if you want right there you can purchase them right there for dragon crystals and you have a chance of getting some travel forms of these little things travel forms of that travel form of a another dragon that doesn't have the daggers and then the pets of them of course so we had a huge big event by rarex that was a guild that had hosted it we actually had a, a another one vip another guild previously we did i have a live stream on that event that I did and then the day after that there was another event I was invited to and it was as big as the first like I, I just thought it was going to be kind of a small thing but it wasn't it was huge tons of people spawning it went on for like two hours or something I'm not sure how long I stayed for but wow it was crazy and I ended up getting a lot of stuff from there too so very cool of Rarex and VIP and all the other members and anybody who was involved during those spawn events. Things like that really, really help with the community. People are able to get items that they otherwise can't afford to get. So it's really cool seeing communities get together like this. If you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor and tap that like button, smash the subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss any of my uploads. A lot of my viewers do not subscribe to my channel. So I really appreciate if you guys can tap that subscribe. It's a small thing for you, but a big thing for me. We are going to be checking out the first part of this update, and I'm looking for the little... It said he's by a tree, and I'm not exactly sure where the... Oh, there's a tree over there. Is that where he is? Aha! Yep, yep, that's it right there. Okay, so there. This is the first part. Read, and I know this is... This was never here before, as far as I'm... I'm pretty sure this was never here before. So, read. This is the Earth Day guy right here, and he's got a quiet place right there and then we've got the earth day trove 2022 which gives you several of these different things right here now i do own the trove that's why all these things are zero so if you own the trove then you would also have it kind of shows what you can get in here some of the um spoilers ahead obviously because you're able to see what these things i won't show absolutely everything i will show the shield and I'll show the hood. I'm not going to show the rest of it. I'll let you guys check that out for yourself. You've got the Aura of Glow. I don't remember what that does. So let's just grab that out. That runs for 30 minutes. And it is just a consumable. Most likely it is green or... Okay, no. It just, it's just a, a green circle going around you. Okay. So I knew it was going to be something like that, but wasn't exactly sure. So, and then you've got the Earth Day items, these, so you've got a travel form you can get for Dragon Crystals. Interesting idea of them, having grass on them and everything. Earth Day Celebration Sword, right there, it's pretty interesting. And then the, uh, that I like this, that's really cool, nice and big, very awesome. And then the Cleaver, look at the size of that thing. Man, that is really cool, nice little detailed stuff on there very nice so and then the quiet place this takes you to a place in heartwood where you're going to be interacting with the tree right here and this is one of my favorite maps to be honest i absolutely love this map it's so beautiful and then you've got little reed right here now i assume you have to play through a certain section of the quest in Heartwood in order to get access to this but uh, if I'm wrong about that you can let me know in the comments so you have the a quiet place which shows right here now there's most likely a quest line in regards to the earth 
de trove. You guys can let me know if you don't see this you probably have a quest thing that you need to do for it to get access. You get the Heartwood Staff Crafting, and this is, of course, level 6 stuff because Heartwood is a very low-level area, and I don't even remember what these things look like. If if these are these new, I, I don't, I have no idea. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure these have been here forever, but I'm not sure because I haven't been in this area for a very long time. So if this is new to you, let me know. If this is not new to you, let me know because I'm not I'm not sure. This is the newest thing that we got here. So you have this, which is an old brand. This is a quest line, which will give you access to a staff and a new title. I'm not gonna do it in this video, however, because I'm just this is just an overview showing you guys what is available in this update. So this is the newest thing you guys are going to want to go get this because you do get a title and a new staff, I believe. Maybe it appears in here. Maybe those, I don't know. Anyways, so yeah, that's that's one of the things. That's the first part of the update that we got. If you guys head over to Yogger's Inn in Battleon, you are going to be finding another NPC in here. And where is he? I don't remember what, uh, is this him over here? This is him right over here. You have Arathor the Haven Shield, right? Arathor Haven Shield, Knight of the Iron Bulwark. And in here, you've got Travel to the Forest Path. Quest not started. Then you have this one right here, Morrigan. Morgana? I <laughs> know. It's Morrigan the Betrayer. And so this is the very first quest here that will be here. Now, I don't think I did the first part of these quests. Because I know there's like there was a part that was added to this to begin the whole thing. I don't think I actually did that. This is what I'm going to be doing in a live stream. I'm going to be doing this and checking out the forest path and you know everything else that came with the new update. But this is a guy you're going to you're going to want to go and interact with this guy to start that quest line and play through it. There's a new reputation faction in there, a new reputation to rank up, and a new map. Like it's it's going to be. I'm really looking forward to uh, to checking this out. So I'll be doing that in the live stream, which will be up probably by the time this video is up because it'll be launching fairly shortly. But like I said, this is just a recap of what is in the game, what came with this update. I also want to let you guys know this guy right here is only around for another week before he disappears. So if there's anything in here that you've been wanting to get, not this, this you will be able to get afterward. This isn't something that disappears for good. This will always be available, but the Fool's Day items and everything in here, all these things will be gone. So if you haven't got your potato pet or your mimic pet or, you know, the other stuff that you want in here and you have the opportunity to get some of those things, then you're going to want to get these while you can because this is only around for one more week. This is also the case for if you head out the to the crossroads right over here and you're going to be heading over here. You're going to be finding the Grenwog stuff and all that stuff is also going to be disappearing in a week as well. So if you guys have not been doing the Grenwog stuff here, talking, doing the whole eat the cake, take you to pass battle on, fighting the bunny berserker to get the rare helm or the Grenwog dungeon if you haven't run that yet to get your Grenwog pet and stuff so you still you've got a lot of stuff in here if you haven't got anything that you want make sure to do this because this will be disappearing on may 3rd along with that other fool's day thing and then of course we're going to be getting the may 4th update when this all when all this stuff disappears that stuff will be arriving so looking forward to that but that is it for this one hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching and keep those swords swinging